Hello. Installing WordPress on your website via direct admin is very simple. When you purchase a hosting package and a domain name, you are going to get a message like this with an instruction on how to access your direct admin web control panel. So to get started, go to your browser and on your browser, if you check the domain that you just uh, registered here, I'm going to be using this domain for this tutorial. If you check the domain you purchased alongside your hosting package, you are going to get this default homepage like so with the direct admin logo beneath it. So to get started with installing your WordPress on this domain via the direct admin, you will need to log into your direct admin web control panel with the information that is going to be included in the mail that will be sent to you by your hosting provider. So to get started, go to your domain. So here I'm using sunshineihcts.com. Then put colon the port that the direct admin is being installed on the server. So here you can see from the mail I got from my hosting provider, the port is installed is 2222. So most times it's usually installed to that port. So I will put my domain colon 2222. So for you, you do the same. Put your domain colon the port that it's being installed to. Then punch the enter button and use the username and password that is being included in the mail that was sent to you by your hosting provider. That's the info you are going to use in logging into your direct admin web control panel. The direct admin web control panel looks like this when you are logged in. So to get started with installing your WordPress, the first thing you need to do is to delete this default homepage that is being included on this domain directory by default by the direct admin web control panel. So you have to remove it so that it won't cause any complications or issues while installing your WordPress. To remove it, go to your file manager. So scroll down a bit, click on file manager. Click on domains. Click on the particular domain you are trying to install your WordPress on. In your case, you may have just one domain. So but here I have two domains. So I will click on the particular one I'm trying to install my WordPress on. Scroll down and click on public underscore HTML. When you do so, you can find the index.html file that it's being displayed on the screen here. So click on it. Click here and select remove to take it out. So to confirm that you've removed it successfully, go back to your domain and refresh. You are supposed to get an error message if it's being removed successfully. I've refreshed and I'm having error 4 forbidden. So it means everything is fine. So I will get started with installing the WordPress. To do so, scroll down a bit and click on Softaclos Auto Installer. Here you are going to find WordPress. But in your own case, if you do not find WordPress on the home page, when you click on Softaclos Auto Installer, just click on Blocks here and you will find WordPress. So here I will just go ahead and click on install. On the installation page, select one of these options. So if you have sec a secured socket layer that's SSL installed for your domain, make sure to select either this or this. So in my case, I wouldn't like to include the www.subdomain extension to my domain. So I'm going to select this. The next thing you do is to select the domain you are installing to. In your case, you may have just one domain, so you select it. Now, in the directory, leave it blank so that the WordPress will install directly on the default directory assigned to this domain by the server, which is the public underscore HTML. In a case where you have a script running for this domain already and you want to install WordPress in a specific directory, then you can specify it in this field. The next thing is to select the WordPress version. So here I will just go for the latest version at this moment. Scroll down a bit and put in your site name, your site description. Here, I'm not going to make any changes. Now put in your admin username, your admin password. Make sure your password is strong or you can generate a password by clicking on this key icon here to generate a strong password. I'm just going to leave the password the way it was because it's just for this tutorial purpose. Then scroll down. You can change the admin email. 
then scroll down and select any of these features depending on if your hosting provider is allowing you make use of any of these features like the backup and the rest of them so but here i'm not selecting any of the features just go through it during your own installation and select any of the features you wish to use on your website scroll down and then type in the email you wish to get a notification on concerning the installation of your wordpress that's not compulsory but if you want to do it it's fine then i'm not going to put any email there so just click on install when you are done and it's going to install successfully it doesn't waste time here it says congratulations the software was installed successfully so if we go back to our domain and refresh we are going to get the wordpress that we just installed you can see it here so to log into your wordpress dashboard you can go to your domain and put slash wp hyphen admin and then punch the enter button to access the login page and you can log in with the info that you use during the installation process so if you also look down here you can find some of those instructions just here thank you for watching and do well to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one